Hi, it was kind of late for my normal streaming time, but I wanted to uh, give an update of what I've been doing since I decided not to stream and I won't be for the next few days. So I decided to work on this story here, the UI to show the current time of day. And uh, it's in progress, but uh, I like what I've got so far. So the first thing that I did was I got a, uh, in the main scene, I threw on a slider, which is one of the Unity like basic things you can do is you can add one of these sliders and it looks like this. And so then when the game is playing, you can click on this and drag it around and it does its thing. <clears throat> and then the next thing I did was I went into paint and I drew this little picture of a sun. Uh, is there not a way to get this bigger? Yeah, I guess not. Okay, whatever. This is it. This is the picture of the sun. I guess that's pretty low quality. Let me fix this. 28. There. That looks better. Sort of this like pixely sun I drew. And that's it and the and the thing. And then I, I scaled it up a bit. I changed the background color to this like kind of op uh, transparent gray, which you can't really tell is transparent because it's over black, unchanging background right now. And then this blue bar represents the day, and then I can move it around using this value of the slider. I had to set the slider to not be interactable, and then change all of the uh, the transition mode, I decided to use color tint, and I just changed all of the colors to pure white so it doesn't change any of the tints that I expect the handle to be. Uh, then this value here will move the bar, move the handle on the bar across the, the width of it from 0 to 1. And this is why I wrote that function on the timer at the end of the other day. So I have this function here called portion complete, which will return a portion of the timer that is complete. So if the timer just started, it's 0.0, .0 and if the timer is done, it's 1.0. It's essentially a percentage in decimal form. Then I wrote this new script here called slider tracks timer. It's a pretty simple script it requires that there's a slider component on the object that this is on as a public timer that you got to drag and drop on start it gets the slider from the object and then on every update it changes the slider value to be the timer dot portion complete and then I added game event listener to uh, listen to the start and end of day events so at the start of the day Let's see, I'll say the slider and the slider tracks timer script start disabled at the start of day. They will be enabled. And then at the end of the day, they will both be disabled. So that way, when uh, the day is not active, these things are not visible and we're not trying to uh, get the t portion complete because it can result in a invalid, right? It could be zero divided by zero. Or uh, an invalid number or something like that. If like start time and end time are null, it didn't like it and it made the handle disappear and that was kind of confusing to figure out for a little bit. So, I think enough chit chat, we can demo what it looks like. So when I click play, all of the scene loading stuff happens as we've been working on. And then the sun starts to move across the bar. It looks pretty cool. I like it. And 
takes you know 30 seconds to go all the way across. When it gets to the end, you're going to see the scenery sets, and so does the timer. Very cool. Okay. UI to show the current time of day. Um, it doesn't yet show how much time is remaining, but um, it's not really part of the requirement here. So I'm going to call that good for now. It's not necessary. Right now, it's not necessary for my tech demo. I don't need to get it done. Okay. So I've got a few things here left. A uh, way for the player to manually reset the day. I'm probably going to just hook this up to a key for now. And then having a day-night cycle. I've been thinking about this and on, um, on Sunday, I will have, uh, I'll have more info on that. Okay. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a nice night. Bye.